Some examples. Lord was reacted, not responded. Saul was reacted, not responded. Thereby, they could not see the destiny of God. May God speak to us this morning. If you want to see the destiny of God, if you want to follow the ways of God, if you want to follow uh, uh, you know, the precepts of God, if you want to be where God wants you to be, take pain there. Take suffering there. Till God says, hang on to see the glory of God. And Samson reacted all the time and few places he responded. And Moses, though he responded many a time, once he reacted, and he lost the glory. People of God, Jeremiah and Isaiah, they responded God. They are wonderful prophets in the Bible. And David and other kings, they responded. And David and other kings, they reacted as well. And Elijah was a great example of reaction to, you know, reacting to God. And Jonah was a great example, reacting to the Lord. Why do you send me there? Send me somewhere. And Elijah is saying, Elijah is saying, Lord, I know better than anybody of my ancestors. Uh, uh, get, Lord, kill me. Enough. And Joseph and David, uh, Joseph and Daniel, they responded wonderfully to the call of God. When they responded, remember, they go through a pain, they go through a suffering, they go through a certain temptation, they go through a journey. Response comes with a journey, with a faith and the hope and the vision. Response is not come just like what you think. Glory be to God. Do not react. Because you fear, do not react. Because you are uncertain, don't react. Because of your anxiety, don't react. Because of your hardship, don't react. Because of your difficult situation, don't react. Because the condition is unfavorable, don't react. Because the circumstances are unfavorable, don't react. Because you have health issues, don't react. Because you are in distress and despondency, don't react. Don't react because you are restrained, your relationships are bad. Don't react because everything is over. Don't react because of your financial struggles. Don't react because of your family struggles. Don't react because you have no sustenance. Don't react because you have no growth and no future. Don't react with all these things. Don't react. We react because of this. We miss the blessing of because of this. We miss all God's plan because of this. Because we react, react, react. But when I tell you, respond. Response comes with repentance. Response comes with reconciliation. Response comes with patience. Response comes with endurance. Response comes with obedience and surrendering. Response comes with hope and faith and joy. Response comes with a journey of sustenance. And response comes with a journey of faith and pain and forgive, I mean, faith, pain and perseverance. And response comes with the things of God which you have to see. You have to see the plans and the purpose of God. That is what we are talking, response. May God bless you.